of kindness and as an example of true Christian behavior and stewardship. Welcome one and all. The first hymn that we are going to sing will be To God Be the Glory. It is a hymn with lyrics by Fanny Crosby and music by William Howard Dome. It was first printed in 1875. Mr. Dome is best known as a longtime collaborator of Fanny Crosby, having written music for more than 1,500 um, music for Crosby's poems. The song celebrates the greatness of God and calls upon as an appreciation for the wondrous things he has done. It is a glorious hymn and should be sung rejoicefully in the spirit of gratitude. Hymn number 341, To God Be the Glory. Sing with me. To God be the glory, great things he has done. So loved he the world that he gave us his son, who yielded his life and atonement for sin, and opened the life gate that all may go in. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the people rejoice. Oh, come to the Father through Jesus the Son, and give him the glory, great things he has done. Oh, perfect redemption, the purchase of blood, to every believer, the promise of God, the vilest offender, who truly believes that moment from Jesus a pardon receives. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the people rejoice. Oh, come to the Father through Jesus the Son and give him the glory, great things he hath done. Great things he has taught us, great things he hath done, and a great rejoicing through Jesus the Son, but purer and higher and a greater will be, who wonder our transport when Jesus we see. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, let the people rejoice. Oh, come to the Father through Jesus the Son and give him the glory. May the things he hath done. Let us pray. Gracious God, our loving Heavenly Father, first we are thankful for the blessings of this week and seeing another blessed Sabbath day. 
And Father, as we come to remember the life, the witness of your servant, Pastor Roach, we celebrate the goodness of God in his life and how he has touched so many lives. He was a faithful servant, dear God. You and your word, you say, you promised three score and ten, and if by reason of strength four score, if yet you have less than beyond four score. And you say to God, be the glory. You blessed him with so many talents and gifts. You allowed him to go in high places. You still there? Okay. You allowed him to go in high places. You blessed him, allowed him to be president of our conference as a good administrator, a good pastor. Some would even call him the pastor's pastor. He was outstanding evangelist. Many souls were baptized into the kingdom as a result of the Holy Spirit in his life. Oh, we give you thanks, dear God, for those many blessings. We thank you again for the blessings of him being a great educator. And as a result of his time as the first principal of the Bahamas Academy, he was able to influence so many students who later became professionals, pastors, doctors, lawyers, various professions. You allowed him even to ascend the halls of parliament as chaplain and also in the House of Assembly and in the Senate. Oh God, you've been good to him. He's left a very good legacy for us behind that through the power of the Holy Spirit, if we allow the Spirit to use us, we too Man, can do know. great things. When he went to school, his father sent him to school. Holy, holy, Lord God Almighty. I pray, dear God, that we, through your grace and mercy, would hear the words, well done, good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee rule over many things. Enter into the joy of thy Lord. Bless the rest of this service. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 Thank you, Alan Knowles. We want to remind you, if you're not speaking, to remember to keep your mics muted at all times unless you are going to uh, participate in the program. Sister Dorothy Ritchie um, reminded us um, of a beautiful song that was sung uh, Pastor Roach's ordination service. Um, Sister Richie, if you're there now, we want you to introduce that song. Yes, Pastor, can you hear me? You can, loud and clear. Okay. Um, I remember Pastor Roach singing the song um, at his ordination. I stand to be corrected, but I'm very certain that it was his ordination. And you know, he has always said, I sing tenor sometimes and bass sometimes. And at his ordination, he sang my task to love someone more dearly every day, 
to help a wandering child to find his way, to ponder on a noble thought and pray, and answer when he calls. And the whole song, as I considered it, it's like a journey, because the last verse says, and then my savior by and by to meet. And so it's, it's like he's doing, trying to do God's work here on earth, and he hopes to meet his savior face to face. And that, that has stayed with me. Anytime I hear someone sing that song, I think about Pastor Roach, my task. Beautiful message and song. At this time, we will invite testimonies. 
And so in this segment, we will have about 10 to 12 minutes. Um, so bearing in mind, there are almost 200 of us that are participating right now. And we will have another segment for tributes. Uh, so you don't have to get everything in um, all at once. So we invite you now to offer testimonies at this time or which, whatever um, format that the pastor has set for. Thank you. And so there, there are those of you who'd like to um, reflect on Pastor Roach, maybe a one word description, um, feel free to, to do so at this time. If I may, Pastor, just yes. to say quickly, one thing that stands out for me with Pastor Roach, I said this before at a front row, but I'm not sure that everybody knows it. Um, just to show how far he reached across the religious divide the church that's in the back of Centerville um, had a fire many years ago, and this would have been before I was a member. I think when they decided uh, to ask us to use the parking lot, we did a walkabout. Pastor, pastor Johnson was the pastor of Centerville at the time. The pastor came over. I think I would have been the head deacon, and we went to look at an access point for them to come through the parking lot. Pastor reminded us that when the church burned down many decades ago, Pastor Roach was the then pastor of Centerville and invited them to hold their Sunday services at Centerville, which they actually did. And so he would have actually widened, um, you know, and opened some doors far as relationship with other denominations. And Pastor Johnson then remarked he never knew that. And I, as a young man, um, at the time on looking, I was truly moved by that and to recognize that he actually uh, did not just talk the talk, but he walked the walk. Indeed, indeed. Uh, we welcome you again to Senegal Remembers, Pastor Roach. If you'd like to share a testimony, or, uh, a little one-liner of what Pastor Roach meant to you, please. Um, raise your hand, Just speak up quickly. Yes, I, I would like to say a word um, on behalf of the Knowles family. Pastor Roach was well known throughout the Bahamas, but particularly the family islands. And I know my father and him had a very good relationship. And he was the one who also baptized my wife. Pastor Roach had that type of spirit, like the Bible described with Daniel, an excellent spirit. He had that thing about him where people, he just drew people to him. So I thank God for the privilege of knowing him. Amen. Amen. Next, please feel free to share. As we remember Pastor Roach. I um, recall Pastor Roach, I um, will always remember him. He was the one who was very instrumental in leading my mom, who is already gone, and all of my siblings, except for one, um, to the church and baptizing all of them. And, you know, that has been a, something that really deep in our mind we always will remember and be grateful for my condition. Yeah, I see him. Go ahead, Ali Dunkerson. Hello, all. Hi. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath to you. I just tuned in to you. Great. Please share with us. Um, in two sentences, your relationship with Pastor Roach and his impact on your life. Pastor Roach is like a brother and then like a father to me. Uh, 
it was him and a pastor, another pastor that came to my house, uh, visited me, uh, Pastor Hannah, and encouraged me to go to the crusade that they were having. Uh, I went to that crusade as a result of Pastor Roach's uh, invitation, me and my entire family, my wife, myself, and my children were all baptized one time at one service. And I will always remember him for that. Pastor Hannah also came with him, but I ended up going to Centerville and I've served as his head elder for many, many years. And we developed a relationship that uh, goes beyond just pastor and member. Uh, we more like brothers. Uh, I had a birthday celebration on the 29th of June and uh, we invited him and he came uh, with his wife and uh, we had a little celebration together with something to eat and what have you. And that was the very last time I laid eyes on him when he left. And so I was really upset when I heard that he uh, had passed. Yes, yes, I know the, the relationship. I've, I was at the church there as an intern with you and him and, and all the That's years right. seeing the, the affection one for the other. And so we give God thanks for your support for him as an elder of the church there over the years. We continue. Yeah, we, we had a relationship, I'm telling you. It ran very deep. Uh, when it's his birthday, and I don't remember when it is, but he would suddenly show up at my house from way out east to come out west just to bring me some of his cake. Yes. I'll, I'll never forget it. We had a special thing going, Pastor Roach and I. Uh, hold one moment, please. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Can let someone else share? Yes, of course. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. Yes, um, I too would like to remember Pastor Roach on behalf of my family. Um, throughout the work environment, um, my colleagues always, when I tell them that I'm an Adventist, they always say, oh, you, do you know Pastor Roach? And they will say, Pastor Jeremiah Duncan. They always hold Pastor Roach in such high esteem. And... Um, I look forward to going to funeral services that he preached at, because you always had some sort of history. He always um, referred to the person who died. He knew somebody who died around that age who might have had some famous, you know. So I always look forward to attending his um, funeral service. I mean, funeral services that he would have passed at. So I really would miss Pastor Roach, um, and. Um, I wish to pay my uh, sympathies on behalf of my family. Amen. Amen. Good evening. Good evening, Pastor. Good evening, brothers and sisters. Uh, it's with heart, sad hearts that we've gathered in this virtual place uh, during these early Sabbath hours to reflect, but also to celebrate, I feel, and cherish the memories uh, we have of this giant of a man, Pastor H.A. Roach. I, for one, had the awesome privilege of growing up in the Centerville Church during what we refer to as the glory days. Pastor Roach was the senior pastor, youth pastor, MV leader, master guide, uh, Dorcas leader, volleyball coach, champion, bowler, pro sprinter in track and field. None of the other pastors in his age group could beat him for sure. And so as a young person at Centerville, nothing I believe brought us more joy than the boast of Pastor Roach being our pastor. Just knowing of his expectations, the expectations he had of us caused us to want to strive to reach higher, do better, and not pause 
until better became best. So when the time came for Raquel and I to marry, it was Pastor Roach who we asked to spend, to give us counseling. He spent long evenings with us, counseling us on the challenges of marriage. And when we married 25, 23 years ago, uh, he was there to give his blessing. In fact, I'm the second generation of my clan whom Pastor Roach has performed nuptials for. 55 years ago, he also participated in the wedding of Bursal and Ethlyn Wallace, my dear parents. The last time Daddy Burton and I visited with him, he spoke with such conviction of his big plans for the church, its work in the Bahamas, and most of all, the educational thrust and efforts of Bahamas Academy. Those of you who know him know he loved Bahamas Academy and Adventist education. But though we grieve now, we grieve not like those without hope, because we know that on that great getting up morning, when the trumpet sounds, our dear pastor Roach will be with the redeemed who will greet our Lord and Savior with joy and gladness. So on behalf of the Wallace family, my parents, Bursal and Ethelyn, my brother and sisters, Raquel, my wife, our children, Dwayne, Daniel, and Davidson, we extend to Sister Roach, Hubert, Opal, and all the rest of the family, our sincerest condolences during this very difficult time. Indeed, so motivated. Thank you. Happy Sabbath Church. Um, my name is Steve Hutchison. Um, I was not raised a Seventh-day Adventist, but I attended the Bahamas Academy and as I can remember, there are, there are a few pastors that you would always hear about. Um, Elder Duncan, um, Pastor Hannah, Pastor Brown, but Pastor Roach was always one that, all, that, that stood out. He was a permanent fixture in the Seventh-day Adventist Church and he has indeed pastored the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Um, I remember him as a, being a very articulate, kind, just a happy, happy person, a happy pastor. And I can recall in 90, I think 90, late 93, 94, when I was preparing to go off to school, he was very instrumental in helping me get my um, school documents processed, my I-20 form and such. So he will, he will be missed. Um, so I, I think we should all just, just endeavor to be faithful so that we will see him again in that great getting up morning. Thank you. Amen. 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 We want to thank you all for your testimonies thus far. And uh, we're going to pause at this moment. Those of us who knew Pastor Roach know that he always enjoyed good music. And one of the things Dwayne um, left out about Pastor Roach was that he was an avid tennis, well, we say tennis player and ping pong player. And he would challenge us young people to play or beat him in, our, in, a, in a ping pong game. But music played a very important part of Pastor Roach. And he always tell you, it's the music that gets the service going. At this time, Dwayne Wallace will bring us a special item of music.
ne with my soul it is well it is well with my Good evening, everyone. Our scripture reading is taken from a very familiar psalm that we all probably know by heart. And so this evening, I'm going to read it from the Clare Word, and it's Psalm 23. Psalm 23, I'll read in your hearing. The Lord is my shepherd. I have everything I need. He lets me lie down in green meadows. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores the strength of my soul. He guides me along paths of righteousness. Even when I walk through a valley of frightful shadows facing death, I will fare no evil. Because you are with me, your rod and your staff comfort me. You spread out a banquet for me in the presence of mine enemies. You anoint my head with drops of oil. My heart overflows with gratitude. Your goodness and mercy will be with me every day of my life, and I will live in the house, in his house forever. The Lord has already added amazing blessings to the reading of his holy word. Amen. Amen. Well, we want to enter into our second season of uh, testimonies this evening. How 
if you were to to use a, a word or two to describe Pastor Roach and your, your relationship out there this evening, share that word with us. Please feel free to go right ahead. I know some of you want to say more than one word, and so if you if you do, make it not more than two. Good evening. Good evening. This is Sister Eula Campbell. Hi, Sister Eula. Yeah. Good to hear you all yes. the way from Florida. Yes, it is, it, it, it is a privilege um, to say a few words on behalf of Pastor Roach. Now, Pastor Roach was my pastor at Grantstown mm -hmm. for a while. And he was also the principal at Bahamas Academy when I went when I attended um, there for five years, all my high school years. And Pastor Rhodes was instrumental in me attending Bahamas Academy. I didn't have any money, but he said to come and we would work it out. And we did. I will always remember his kindness. And I would like to give my condolences to his dear wife, Sister Olga Roach, the children, and the rest of the family at this time. Amen. Amen. Thanks. Good to hear you. <laughs> Thank you. We'll be next. Good evening and happy Sabbath. Um, sympathies to everybody in the group. We all feeling Pastor Roach's death. Um, I didn't grow up in Nassau. I just want to take this time to say when I came back from Bimney, I, my mom was a Christian at this time and she always talked about Pastor Roach. And that's how I get to know Pastor Roach because she um, brought us near to him just by talking about him when she came from service and she always talked about him and she even officiated at her funeral and um, so Pastor Roach would come into the store where I worked at Healthy Lifestyle Center in Delhi and he, he would always smile and you know I, some, I'm remembering right now as a nice kind person who loved God. Good evening and have a wonderful you know enjoy the rest of the evening. Amen. Amen. I would also I would also like to say something about Pastor Roach. Oh, Pastor yeah. Roach was involved in my life from a child up to my adulthood. Mm -hmm. He was my first principal at Bahamas Academy. And I went to Bahamas Academy from low beginners, high beginners, straight up to grade 12. Well, and he because. also taught me how to read and to write the Roman numerals. Okay, and um, he was also my pastor at Centerville Seventh-day Adventist Church for many years. And I also remember traveling to Eleuthera where we had a crusade and we used to sing in the choir. And we all, um, the Zonka family along with Pastor Duncan, we went to the Holy Land and we had a good time there. And I remember the place where Jesus um, fed the 5,000 and we say, boy and, and so much people but yet he didn't Jesus didn't need a mic so Pastor Rose said let's test it so anyhow he, he stayed up and he went down down the mountain like and we just whispered his name and he was able to hear whatever we said and we understood why how Jesus could have talked uh, or preach or just talk to the people he didn't have to scream or anything and everybody heard that and Pastor Roach also was my um marriage counselor, and he also prayed for my children at their baby's dedication. I remembered him also as a person who was very energetic at socials, and he led the marches. Nobody could have beat Pastor Roach marching. Oh, and he had a step. And when he turned left, he turned right, he would guide you with his hand or whatever. It was such a good march, those socials. And he was also a member of the South Bahamas Conference um, retirees. That was the last, the last meeting we had uh, with him. And we had an election. He said, oh, you all are doing a good job. If it isn't broke, don't fix it. So he said, everyone remain as is. I said, oh man, I was trying to get out. But anyhow, that was it. But I want to say that he was a man of God and he will be missed. And it takes for us now to be, live to be faithful so that when Jesus comes, 
that we will meet him in that first resurrection. Amen. And I hope that Mrs. Roach and the family will, I know they're going to cry. I've been crying too. But we don't cry without hope. Thank you. Amen. Bye. Amen. Beautiful. Good evening, everybody. Um, when Sister Jean was talking, I remember those socials. When Dwayne was talking, I was like, yes, absolutely. We have the we have similar memories because we were in Centerville growing up at the same time. The first time I was an AY leader, it was because of Pastor Roach. Um, he said, yes, let's do this. <laughs> and so it was under him that I first took my dip into um, youth work. Um, Pastor Roach, um, like Dwayne, Pastor Roach married my in-laws. He married us. He prayed for each one of my children. Um, when Pastor Roach left Centerville through the living through the Living Faith Crusade, um, I was one of those that went along with him. And once again, he entrusted me with youth work, and it was just a joy. So many of us who became a part of the Living Faith Church because of Pastor Roach. Um, I was out this week um, at an appointment, and I met somebody said, "Oh, Pastor Roach." passed away and I said yes and they said wow these are not a yeah. and they said Pastor Roach was a gift to the world and that is the word Pastor Paul that I want to use because he was just that he was a gift and here were two people who were saying he adopted my aunt because my grandmother died early or her, her mother died and, and Pastor Roach adopted her it's a, an Eleuthera connection of some kind and that was just one story. If you say his name anywhere in the Bahamas, and you're an Adventist, they're going to say, do you know Pastor Roach? The last time that the youth were out on the park near Centerville, um, people were passing by. And we were just going up to them and talking. And they were like, yeah, yeah, we know Pastor Roach. <laughs> we know Pastor Roach. At least three people I never saw before in my life. They saw us there and they said, you're an Adventist. Do you know Pastor Roach? So I'm sure all of us will be saying the same thing. Um, he made you feel like you were the only person in the world. That's how he made me feel. Like I was the most special person to him. And I'm sure multiplying me by thousands, people would feel the same way. And so he has left an indelible mark in my heart. And I am sure that um, each one of us have a spot for him that will always be there. And looking forward to seeing him, I wanna be faithful. I pray that I will be faithful because I know Pastor Rose will be getting up in that first resurrection. Amen, amen. Good evening, good evening everybody. Good evening, Sister Adley. Yes, I would like to share my condolences to the entire Advent family. Um, I had a village about, 30, about 35 years ago, I had a dream that the Lord had come and we were we were all a part of this of his coming, but I saw the Seventh Day Adventist pastors. Most of them they were going to heaven, and one of the person I didn't know their names, and but I know they were Seventh Day Adventist pastors. But the one person who I identified was Pastor Roach. Pastor Roach had a, a tail like a kite behind him. And all around him was the halo of the lights. And on, this, on that tail, there were diamonds just flashing and flashing. So I identified that it was Pastor Roach. And I didn't share the dream with him. About 16 years ago, we met in the lobby at the hospital uh, where I work. And I said, Pastor Roach, you know, I had a dream with you about, at that time, about 14 or so years ago. And I told him the dream that I dreamt about him and how he was going to heaven with these lights flashing, flashing, man, the diamonds, the halo, the light was all over him. And it was the lights that, that gave radiance to his face that I could see it was him. And, you know, when he passed that week, you know, everything came back clearly to mind, the dream I had. And truly, that has propelled my fate and go to a higher level. And I know, and I have confidence that when the Lord should come, Pastor Roach indeed would be in the first trump. Amen, amen, amen. 
Yes, I met Pastor Roach 33 years ago when my principal, former principal Lynn Smith, um, introduced me to him. I needed to get a, a, um, a visa, a US visa, living in Grand Bahama, not knowing anyone in the Bahamas period. Um, Sister Lynn called Pastor Roach to take me to the, to the um, embassy. And you would not imagine how warm Pastor Roach was to me. He's a true ambassador of the Bahamas. And uh, I, I, he had me not going to the embassy via, um, what's the road? Tony Williams Darling Highway. After leaving um, the embassy, he took me on a tour of the island. And I must say that was a, a true fatherly, um, an outreach that has made an indelible impression on my life. And so I want to say to Sister Roach and the rest of the family that our hearts are hurting, but we know we cannot imagine the emotions that you're dealing with right now. I just want to say something about my admiration for Pastor Roach, and it is not a way of making any other pastor less than Pastor Roach. But what I particularly find very um, interesting about Pastor Roach is how he tenderly tenderly treats his wife. Pastor, if you observe Pastor Roach at joint, observed Pastor Roach at joint services, you would never see Pastor Roach go to the podium and leave Sister Roach trying to find her way. He will either do two things, take her and seat her, or ask someone to take care of her. I thought he was such a gentleman and uh, we will miss his, uh, oh, man. his exuberance, his joy. And when I first met him in, in Grand Bahama, he was, um, I think, the publishing director. And I liked how he used the enthusiasm, the book, the book, the book, you know, always full of life. And so Sister Roach, we are here but I know there's a big void and one day God is going to make it all right. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Good evening, everyone. Take two more. This is Can one. you hear me? We can. Okay. Good evening, everyone. My name is Phyllis Palmer and I'm calling from Pembroke Pines in South Florida. I first met Pastor Roach when I was working in the Bahamas and I attended Centerville Church. Pastor Roach is a loving person and he's loved. He has a heart that warms everyone that he comes in contact with. I remembered when I was flying to Canada because my sister was going to have open heart surgery. And I met Pastor Roach at the airport and he was flying to Canada. And I told him the reason why I was flying to Canada. And he took time off at the airport to just say a word of prayer on behalf of my sister that everything will go well. I know he will be greatly missed and his family are very sad, but my words of encouragement to them is to cheer up because very soon, if we all remain faithful, we will meet again. So I look forward for that great day, that getting up morning, when he shall rise and we will live forever and ever. Amen. Let's take one more in this segment. Happy Sabbath, everyone. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. This is Sister Lachelle Adderley from Johnson Park Church. I'd like to extend my sincere condolences to the Roach family on behalf of my family. 
Marjorie Adderley and my siblings, Eleanor Adderley and Duane Adderley and their families. What a mighty man of God. At the tender age of 11, I was determined that the only person who would baptize me would be Pastor Roach. At the beach, Asha told me that I had to wait a bit because the line was long. I mm -hmm. responded, fine, once I got to Pastor Roach. I believe that that was the beginning of our special relationship. Pastor Roach, life and living was a sermon in itself. He actively demonstrated the joy in serving the Lord. I remember fondly a pastor who took the time to care. A pastor who many times literally came to my jobs to simply encourage the, SDA, the SDAs who were working there. He would call us all down, offer a few inspirational words and a quick prayer. He often encouraged us to bring our friends down to say hello. Thus, non-SDA colleagues came to know him and were delighted to, to meet him. He then became everyone's pastor. And they would often tease us to step the second we stepped on a line at work, oh, we got to call Pastor Roach for y'all. What is Pastor Roach's number? Oh, you staying here a little bit too long. You need to get home. I'm going to call Pastor Roach for you. I still miss him, but I look forward to seeing him on that glad reunion day. May God bless and keep his family. Amen. 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 Our second scripture at this time. Second scripture reading, reading is taken from First Thessalonians. Chapter 4, verses 16 to 18. I'm reading from the New Living Translation. For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a commanding shout, with the voice of the archangel and the trump, of the God, and the trump call of God. First, the Christians who had died will rise from their graves. Then, together with them who are still alive, and remain on earth, will be caught up into the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Then we will be with him with the Lord forever. So encourage each other with these words. Here ends the reading. Amen. The Lord. Good evening, everyone. Pastor Roach always reminded me that I am not a role, I'm a roach, because my Great grandfather was a roach. And uh, so I do have fond memories of my encounters with him. But what was so profound to me was that uh, about five or six years ago, I went to a funeral in the Turks and Caicos Islands. And a lady came up to me because she knew that I was Seventh day Adventist. And she said, You're going back to New Providence? I said, Yes, I am. She says, I have something I would like for you to give to Pastor Roach. She then gave me about 20 pounds of coins that she had collected because Pastor Roach had organized a coin drive when she was in the Bahamas. And even when she went back to Turk, she kept coins. And so I brought them in. It was, uh, it cost me a bit of overweight, but I brought them back uh, to the Bahamas and gave them to uh, Pastor Roach. Um, and now we'll allow Allison to. Uh, say a short word before we uh, have our next meditation in song. Good evening, everyone. Mm -hmm. Pastor Roach was a dear friend of my parents and my family. And actually, whenever Keith and Mabel Mason heard the name Pastor Roach, there was a special twinkle in their eyes. Uh, personally, uh, Pastor Roach has been an encouragement to me in the music ministry. I recall uh, being a, the singing evangelist at many of the crusades that he conducted. And I can remember days when I worked at the Registrar General's department that Pastor Roach would just pop up from time to time to share fruits that were native fruits that were in season. You know, just kind, simple, gestures when you're least expecting it that actually help to put a special twist on your day. And so our prayers are with uh, the Roach family and uh, we will continue to hold him dear in our hearts and uh, pray to God that we all remain faithful. And the song that should be played coming up next is the song 
abide with me, an arrangement that I would have done about two years ago. I pray that you are blessed as you listen.
sentiments, <laughs> we'd like to uh, invite the family, Sister Roach and Opal and Hubert to, 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 to remember at this time that the Lord is abiding with you. He's a very present help in the time of trouble and a present help in the time of loss. And we thank you, Allison, for reminding us of this this evening. Mm -hmm. We have another uh, 15 to 20 minutes uh, to be here with you as we celebrate. We want to finish at, at 9 uh, this evening. And um, joining us in the program, I don't know if he's still there, is one of Pastor Roach's uh, cousins, family member. I'm not sure exactly if the uh, how it's, it's all put together. Pastor Carol Roach uh, pastors a church in Freeport, Grand Bahama. And if you are there, Pastor, we would uh, certainly welcome you to say uh, a word or two at this time in reference to your, your, your family. Um, let us know uh, that you're there. Sister Bella, I've noticed that he has stepped away from his chair for a moment. Um, please carry on and he will come back in and just a minute. Great, thank you. Well, um, in this two or three minutes, I just wanted to share uh, with you a few things. Uh, first of all, um, maybe about a month or so ago, um, the passing of Sister Nelda Bo, um, I called Pastor Roach and I said to him, would you, um, if I was able to, to, to get you, would you be willing to, to go and be a part of the very brief ceremony um, for Sister Nelda and uh, the family really wanted him to be there. And uh, the Moxie and myself um, facilitated a, a brief memorial at the funeral home and I went to pick up Pastor Roach and I told him that I would be there for him at a certain time and I called him to make sure that he had remembered and um, when I called him he said oh Pastor Paul these these old bones you know the old soldier just just getting up and um, I said well Take your time. I, I'm calling ahead of time so that the so that you can be ready. And um, this was about an hour before time for us to go to the service. And uh, half an hour after that, I, I left and pick, picked him up. And we, we got to the, the chapel. And uh, he was able to, to give words of encouragement. And that was the last service that he and I um, participated in together and um, took him back home and he took his time coming out of the car and um, as I pulled up to the house I, the car couldn't get in the yard good enough and who do, who do you think appeared at the door? Sister Roach she was there looking for him almost as if to say why did you take my husband away from me for so long and um, I was happy to to, to, to deliver him back <laughs> to his, his darling wife. And so Sister Roach, um, as we spent a few moments together this week, we continue to pray for you and encourage you and, and, the, and Opal and, and Hubert and the other uh, family members. Um, I, I can recall uh, Pastor Roach, uh, I was assigned to him as an intern. He was my first senior pastor right at the Senegal church. And um, uh, he taught me so many things, so many things, um, how to make a quick visit, how to be sensitive to uh, the elderly folk in the church. He assigned me to, to, to take care of one sister Fox. And I had to every week um, go to sister Fox, take her to the food store, um, look after all of her, needs, pay the bills and all the rest of it. Um, and, and he would check on me every week. He said, Pastor, did you get the Sister Fox this week? And uh, I had to say yes. And um, um, so many, so many other things. He, he was the one who delivered me to Abaco, took me on the plane as a young pastor of my first district on my own. 
And there at that airport, there were five ladies waiting to greet me. Um, and um, he uh, put me in their care, these senior ladies. Um, God bless them all. They've all laid down their burdens now and um, resting until uh, Jesus' return. Uh, but he said to me, Pastor, this is this is the this is your 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 leadership here in Abaco, and um, so many other other things. Pastor Roach introduced me to the National Drug Council, of which I eventually became a a, a council member, and um, uh, so many other public and civic uh, activities uh, that he was responsible for. for carving the way for myself and other young pastors to be a part of it. So we just give God thanks. Um, like the Apostle Paul, he must have said, I, for I am now ready to be offered and the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, and not to me only. And this is something that Pastor Roach, you know, was at the core of his life. He didn't only want to go to heaven by himself, but to all those who love his appearing. All those who love his appearing. And so uh, we just give God thanks for, for all that he's poured into our lives as a church, as fellow workers and leaders together and to his family in a very special way. And we continue to hold them up in prayer. One of the other things that Pastor Roche introduced me to was radio. Um, back in the day when I started ministry with him at Centerville, he had a program on ZNS called, This Is Focus. And he gave me the opportunity to, to introduce that program and, and to, to do many of the presentations on, on it and, and to the, the, the world of, of media and the gospel. And so we give God thanks. Um, I also was a student and um, sang in his choir at Bahamas Academy. I remember those Christmas programs where he would get the boys together and we would do um, songs together. And so we just give God thanks. I want to encourage us as a church, as Senegal, as we remember, and those of our friends, uh, the ministry and the life of Pastor Roach. Uh, before we bring on just a short little uh, video clip, um, we're going to invite his cousin. I see he's back here now. Uh, tell us exactly the relationship. Uh, Pastor Carol Roach, uh, you're there in Freeport. Good to have you with us this evening. Share with us a moment in this moment of celebration. Well, good evening, everyone. I am truly honored and it's a privilege for me to be here. And yes, I am tuning in from Grand Bahama, Freeport. I didn't want to miss this, uh, like this Zoom uh, stream this evening. But Pastor Roach, and he is, he has been my cousin. I call him Cousin Hugh, Cousin Hugh. But Pastor Roach is and has been the leader of our family, the Roach clan. He has been our leader. He's been the patriarch of our family. And we have, we have always been so very, very proud of him. Anywhere we go, as long as we say we are a member of the Roach clan, the first thing they would say is, what are you to Pastor Roach? A.J. Yeah. Roach. It seemed as though everyone knew our cousin. Everyone knew Pastor Roach. And we kind of, uh, that was always a positive thing for all of us, knowing that we are connected to Pastor Roach. I say he has been really the glue that kept our family together. Amen. We have a very strong family unit. And we owe all of it, most of it, to Pastor Hughes' influence and his encouragement to all of us. No question about it. 
he has served his purpose in his generation. You know, the scripture says that just as David did, as David served his purpose, when David had served his purpose in his generation, he slept with his father. Yes. Pastor Roach served his purpose in his generation. Mm -hmm. And he has gone now to be with the Lord. And we, we are so proud of him as a family. Uh, words just cannot express. You know, about two weeks, maybe about two weeks before uh, he got ill, he, uh, he called me and, you know, called me like uh, kind of late in the evening. He called me and he said, listen, listen, you guys have to keep your family going. You got to keep your family connected. He says, uh, and he began to tell me, uh, you know, some of his medical issues. And I never knew the extent of it, but he really kind of told me what was happening with him. And uh, he just said, keep him in prayer. You guys keep your family going. Make sure, uh, you know, get, get those connections and keep it going. And, and uh, he said, now I've been telling you all about myself. Now, when I call back again, you tell me everything that's going on with you. His voice was always very strong. His voice was always very clear. And you wouldn't even know he was not feeling well if you just hear him on the phone speaking because he was always so very, his voice was so strong and so very clear. But we are going to miss him dearly. We're going to miss him dearly. He has been our leader a patriarch, and the void that's been left behind, it, it just, you know, it can't, it just, only the grace of God can fill that void. And so continue to pray for our family, continue to pray for Cousin Olga, Lopal, Hubert, the rest of the children, the, grand, the grandchildren, uh, let's continue to keep the whole roach plan in prayer. Keep us in prayer as we pray for you. I'm so proud that my cousin, Pastor Roach, truly is a man worthy of praise. God bless. Amen. Thank you, Cousin Carol. And we will continue indeed to keep the family in our prayers. Uh, before we have the video tribute um, this evening, one of his contemporaries, one who served with him over all these years, will now say a very special prayer for the family and for the church as we uh, look to the future. But in this present moment, Pastor Neville Scavella will now offer a word of prayer on behalf of the family in particular. Let's invite him to pray. He's learning how to use this device. Pastor Scavella, are you there? For the Chris, let's do the video tribute while they get the mic unmuted for Pastor Scabella.
Why should I feel discouraged? And why should the shadows come? Tell me why should my heart be lonely and long for heaven and home when Jesus is my portion my constant friend is he his eye is on the sparrow and I know he watches me his eye is on the sparrow and I know he watches me so i sing because i'm happy yes i sing because i'm free his eye is on the sparrow and I know he watches me okay thank you for that little Tribute. Those are some of the pictures that members sent in to us, and we just put that together. Thank you, uh, CJ, uh, for putting that together for us just this evening. Just this evening. Is Passes Cavella there available yet? If not, we will ask uh, Pastor Clark there. Maybe he can fill in this prayer. Go on. Uh, good evening and thank you so much, Pastor Scavella. It's yes. a delight and privilege to be able to say a word on behalf of my family. Sister Patrice is here with me. Please forgive us that we are unable to um, join you by way of video right now um, because of our challenges, but God is good. And uh, we want to say happy Sabbath to everyone. Uncle Neville is trying to just get a word, Pastor Paul. Yes, let me let him pray and then you can continue. Yes, not a problem. Thank, Thank you. Pray. Go ahead and pray this okay. time. I'd like to all benediction. We think that this service is in honor of one of our seven pastors who has served for many years. We pray his life and ministry may have served to inspire many be faithful to the principle of truth that is found in your word. Pray that you would ask the service that it might serve as a message to inspire each one to have a clear walk to be ready to meet you on that day when you come claim all those who accepted you as their personal safe from sin. This is my view. We ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Pastor Clark, please continue. Thank you so much, Pastor Scavella. And even tonight, Pastor Jeff Thompson just called through and he's going to join you in a minute on Zoom. But one of the things that I really appreciate about Pastor Roach was that uh, a leader is not recognized as a leader based on the amount of things that he does but it is based on the amount of things that he encourages. Hey, yes, it is based on the amount of things that he gets other people to do. And uh, one of the lessons that 
that really stick out with me as an intern with Pastor Roach was that if I did not know who the speaker was, then he said, well, you are the speaker. And um, just that little word um, encouraged me to be prepared at all times. I had the delight of just driving around with Pastor Roach. And as I drove him, so many people, as you have indicated, and so many others have indicated, there were so many people that just knew Pastor Roach and healed him. And my responsibility was to just toot the horn. And it seemed to me as if though every day, all I was doing was tooting the horn there because everybody knew Pastor Roach. He was a man of tact. He was a man of wisdom. He had, he had deep spiritual insight. He was able to unpack a, pack, a passage and um, just the way that he presented himself. He knew all of the persons in high authority, but he was also able to relate to the smallest person, the child, the person on the street. And um, it was just a, a joy to say that Pastor Roach and others, but the spotlight is on Pastor Roach, he was my mentor. And I'm, I'm just grateful. Uh, you know that some of you called us the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And uh, I, I took that with the utmost joy because I wanted to walk in his shoes. I wanted to follow him as he followed Christ. And um, whether it's from a family standpoint, as others have mentioned, uh, he prayed for me. He did everything for me in terms of baptism and pre counseling and marriage and prayed for my children and prayed for the grandchildren and all of that and, and everything. Uh, Pastor Roach is just one of those who endeared himself. You can't take it from him. You can't rewrite history. Everybody has their gifts and talents, but it's just a joy to know him is their wife, Sister Olga. We can talk all night about her. Also, their children and those who were adopted into the family, they just fell in line. And um, tonight, I just want to say, boy, I give God thanks that you can't see because you the person. And we just give God all the praise. So I'll cut it for there, Pastor Paul. And I thank you and the Sandoval Church for the opportunity just to say a word tonight. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Clark. And uh, we're just grateful uh, for all that God has done uh, uh, for us. Um, we're winding down now, and we know that there are many who would like to continue to give tributes. We want to acknowledge uh, His Excellency uh, Desmond Edwards, who is on this evening. And um, Your Excellency, if you would like to give a, a word or two, we will welcome you at this time. Yeah, I was... Um... Pastor Roach was my pastor. Okay. Uh, he baptized me. And uh, we were always in contact. I would see him um, in various places. Some um, parliament, I remember when he was the, the chaplain and in the Senate also. Pastor Roach had that, that stentorious voice and way of speaking that captured the magic. Seems as if we've lost him. Yeah. I see you're still there. Mm. Okay. Um, I hope we can regain it before we are finished. Um, this service is recorded and uh, we will make it available for those of you who would like to, to have it um, as we give God thanks. This was done in collaboration with 
the Roach's family, Opal and Hubert and Sister Roach have all been a part of us uh, sharing. And so we just want again to encourage them to be faithful and to continue to, to hold on to God's unchanging hands and to the Roach family. Uh, we know that your faith is anchored in the Lord. Your faith is anchored in the Lord. Pastor Jeff, are you there? Pastor yes. Jeff. Yeah, I'm here. Yes, Doc. Yeah. Yes. Yes, I am uh, certainly uh, all of us are heartbroken. And so I would like to take this opportunity to uh, express my condolences to Sister Roach and to her family. Pastor Roach is a true Bahamian legend. He's an icon. I had the privilege of serving with him at the Centerville Church as a pastoral intern, and he made an indelible impact upon my life. I will always remember him. Uh, he was someone who just loved people. He basically followed Jesus and mingling with people. He was never so busy or too busy that he didn't have time for anyone. He just made everybody special. And so uh, as someone has said, uh, people, will forget whatever you did or all of your academic accomplishments, but they will never forget how you made them feel. And Pastor Roach had this unique ability to make everybody feel special. So I just want to join uh, the other pastors and want to thank Pastor Scavella and all the others for coordinating this program and members of the family, Sister Roach, just want you to know here in South Florida, we will continue to pray for your family and uh, Pastor Rocha set a really credible example for all of us. May God bless you, is my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Ah. We'll now have our song. Good evening, everyone. Um, all right, that was wonderful to hear so many accolades from about such a great man and truly uh, we but merely skimmed the surface. He had many, many, many qualities that uh, contributed to his greatness. Uh, one of the things that impacted me about him was his approachable, he was so approachable. He had a welcoming spirit about him that kind of put you at ease. Uh, he was a visionary, dreamed of big things for the people of God. Uh, he saw further than most. And then it's hard to become great without that charisma. And he had a power of articulation that was astounding. Even as a child, I can still remember his sermons. I found them interesting because he always put a little story in there to bring the point across. He was a great storyteller, almost as good as his wife was. Uh, godliness, he was a godly man. And uh, his, that aura of godliness uh, was not only found in the pulpit, like an umbrella he held, it went with him wherever he moved. And this is one of the things that drew people to him. He was a soft-spoken man. Sometimes he would wax hot in the pulpit, <laughs> but genuinely, uh, he was a soft-spoken guy. Uh, whenever he spoke, no matter how high and intense the situation was, it tended to bring a calming effect. You know, he put everybody at ease. And so we could go on and on all night about his qualities. There are many. He touched so many people. All of them have a different perspective but all the perspectives are positive and godly. And that's very admirable. Uh, I would like from my family to offer condolences to his family, those who feel the hurt deepest, and of course, to all those who loved him. That's, that's like everybody. Uh, when he passed, and of course I offered my condolences where 
I felt it would be needed and appreciated, but I was impressed with the amount of people who called to offer me condolences. I'm not a roach. I'm just a Seventh-day Adventist, which he happened to be. And uh, people of renown and lowly people, he touched everybody. And uh, because of his life and his legacy, it gives us a blessed assurance that the promises of God will fall favorably upon him. And so on that resurrection day, uh, we can weep with sadness because he left us, but we can also weep with joy because we know if we're faithful, we're gonna meet him on that blessed day. And so we'd like to close off this inspiring, uplifting service, a celebration of his life with hymn number 462. 462, blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Wonderful hymn. We invite you to mute the mics. And Sister Jean, if you're still there, you can lead us in this hymn. 462. Let me get the number. Okay. 462. 462, okay. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. <clears throat> Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Here of salvation, purchase of God. Born of his spirit, washed in his blood. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission, perfect delight. Visions of rapture now burst on my sight. Angels descending. Bring from above echoes of mercy, whispers of love. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my Story. This is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission, all is at rest. I in my Savior. I'm happy and blessed, watching and waiting, looking up, filled with his goodness, lost in his love. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. Amen. Amen. Blessed assurance. That's the assurance that we have. 
that soon and very soon Jesus will come and he will not tarry and he will resurrect those who are resting in him, sleeping as it were. And we look forward to that day. So Sister Roach, Opal, Hubert, and the, the children, the grandchildren, be of good courage. All of his cousins and, and siblings and uh, others, Lord, we give God thanks for his, for his ministry. And we, by God's grace, will be faithful until we see him again. We're going to pray and then we will conclude the service with a special from Ashley Knowles as we say good night this evening. Let us bow our heads for prayer. I wouldn't mind, uh, Pastor Thompson, if you're still there, to pray. Yes, I'm still here. Do the benediction for us. Uh, you want it right now? Yes. Okay. Let us lift our hearts to God in prayerful meditation. O oh, divine, majestic, loving, heavenly Father, we pause on this beautiful uh, Friday evening uh, to give you thanks for Jesus, who is the author and finisher of our faith. Loving Heavenly Father, we have gathered from all walks of life to offer our tributes to Pastor H.A. Roach, a true Bahamian icon, a true Bahamian legend, a true minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Lord, we just want to thank you for the tremendous impact that he made upon the Commonwealth of the Bahamas, for the tremendous impact that he made on the Atlantic Caribbean Union, on West Indies Union, on the Inter-American Division, and even on the world's Seventh-day Adventist Church. Lord, we know there will never be no one ever like Pastor H.A. Roach. And so even as we pray, we just wanna lift up his dear wife, Sister Olga Roach. We wanna lift up his children, Les Opal and Hubert and all of the grandchildren and all of the significant others. We ask your blessing, Lord, also upon the Senegal Seventh-day Adventist Church, Pastor Paul Scavella, who's doing an excellent work in leading uh, that particular congregation, a congregation that Pastor Roche gave valuable service to. Just bless us now, for we ask it in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Blessed Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Thank you, Dr. Amen. As we leave you, we leave you with these words from the music of this song. May God bless you. Be of good courage until that great day when we shall see Jesus face to face. Thank you all. Ashley knows now. Oh, the joy of this blood.
blessed glorious thought my sin not in part but the whole is nailed to the cross and thou bear it no more praise the Lord praise the Lord oh my soul it is well with my soul it is well it is well with my soul and Lord haste the day when my fate shall be sight the clouds be rolled back as a scroll the trump shall resound and the Lord shall descend even so soul it is well with my soul it is well it is well with my soul my soul thank you thank you may god continue to bless you all till we meet again good evening god bless you have a safe evening this evening thank you for being here thank you good for evening, spending Good evening. Good evening to one and all. Good evening. Good evening. Thanks for joining Centerville at Best for Time as we celebrate the life of Pastor Roach. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Good evening.